Hi, my name's Joanna. I'm a translator working with Russian and English, and I'm really excited to join TM Town and make the most of the functions they offer. So today, Nate's going to help me set up my profile page. Hey, Joanna. Thanks so much for getting online with me today to learn more about how you can optimize your TM Town profile. Hi, Nate. Great. OK, let's go then. OK. Um, so first, I wanted to say why it's important to really enhance your profile. So all of the information there has been added intentionally um, so that a potential client could see more metrics about your prior work or to see some quality markers that help them assess you uh, in order to reach out to you for a job. Great, so here we are on your account settings page. And yeah. after you've signed up to TM Town, you can always get to this page by hovering over this little gear in the upper right hand corner. So in this first part, we have a place for your user photo and a background image and a place where you can choose your profile color theme. Okay, and so you sent over some images earlier. I'll go ahead and load those in. So here's okay. a profile photo for you. You sent over this lovely picture of the mountains. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and do you have a color preference? I think blue. Okay, let's go with blue. Try blue. Okay, great. So, um, Let's go ahead and update that real quick and just see what it looks like. It's going to take us to a place where you can crop your profile image, make it nice and round, make sure that your face is filling in nice and center. So I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and crop that. Now we can see that we have this new background image and mm -hmm. your profile image there as well. Okay, let's go on down here to the next section where you can update some general information, okay? Mm -hmm. So this name okay. field, you're going to want yeah. to put in your professional legal name. This is where, this is what will show up on your profile and in other places where clients can search for you. So what okay. is the name that you would like to use? Joanna Dobson. Let me know if I yep. make any mistakes. Looks good Looks to me. Good. Okay. Yes, Joanna Dobson. Great. So what's the preferred name? Well, the preferred name here is going to be what we use to communicate with you in notifications or in emails, this kind of thing. So uh, it sounds a bit funny if, you know, if I've known you for a while and I say, hey, Joanna Dobson, how are you doing? It's great to see <laughs> you again, Joanna Dobson. <laughs> Isn't it? That's a bit funny. So... <laughs> The preferred let's name use, is... Let's use, let's use Joanna. So we'll go with Joanna. Okay. And country is where you currently reside. So where would that be? UK. Okay. So if I type in United, yeah. I should get United Kingdom there. And native language, I'm going to take a guess and say English. Yes, correct. Okay. And then gender. Female. And that is only for, uh, in, in the case that you don't want to be, to have your profile photo shown, we will show a general avatar. And so we just, you know, want to know if you'd like us to show a, a man or a woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't, <laughs> it has no effect other than that. Okay, okay, next is your tagline, okay? And this is a phrase that kind of gives some insight into maybe your personal process or, you know, something that makes you stand out. Um, yeah. And, and it's really important because it shows up in a lot of places. Uh, so if a, a client searches for translators, there's a lot of times where they will see your profile photo and the next thing they see is your tagline. And if you don't have a tagline there, or if it doesn't sound very good, then it's kind of a bad first impression. So this is actually a really important thing. Right. Well, I have a tagline on my professional website. Okay. So, for the sake of consistency, I'd like to keep it the same. Great. So, if we can use that, shall I spell it out to you? Yes, please. Okay. So, it's pure connections, vital words. Great. Um, and then, the about me section here is, um, you could think of it kind of like a cover letter to your resume, but it's really a place where you want to let 
a client know what makes you different. I mean, there are lots of Russian to English translators. And so what is unique about your experience that could really make you stand out? And that's what you really want to go for in this About Me section. Okay. So let's put that I have 12 years, that I was 12 years resident in Russia and that I am an expert in the Altai region of Russia. Okay, so that's actually really great because I'm guessing there aren't too many people with regional knowledge, so that really makes you stand out. So that's, that's great. That's the kind of stuff that we're looking for in this About Me section. Next, years of experience. How long have you been working as a translator? Ooh, 11 years. Next, as a free member on TM Town, you can choose one top language pair. Which would you like to go with? I'll go with Russian and English for now. Great, and then fields of expertise. Uh, again, on the free membership, you're allowed to select up to three. If you have three that you'd like to put in, go ahead uh, and Let's go three. for culture. Okay, culture. There it is. Great. Okay, so we've filled in all the fields here. Everything's looking great. We can continue making changes. Let's move on down the page and see what other sections we need to fill out. Okay, so the next thing we see here is education. So I can add a degree. So that's all we need to do there, and we can keep going. Okay, the next thing we see over here are memberships and associations. Are you currently a member of any organization? I'm not at the moment, but I can research that and come back to it, can't I, and add something later. Absolutely. It's just a good networking opportunity and can lead to other opportunities as well. And it's also a great quality marker. Next section is the rates and payments, uh, payment methods. All right. So this first thing we see is a don't bother me rate. And what that is, is we filter out any job messages that you might get that is lower than this rate. So if you don't want to work for less than uh, six cents a word. If someone tries to contact you for a, a job that's less than that, then we won't even bother sending it to you so you don't have to worry about reading unwanted messages. Okay, and next we can choose our per word rate range. Next you can Add payment methods. Are you aware of the TM Town terminology marketplace? Yes, I've looked at that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So it's a, a place where you can uh, upload your own glossaries for sale to other translators. And if you would like to participate in that, then you'll need to enter some way that we can can pay you when someone purchases your glossary. And that's what these two bottom sections are for. Next is software. So you can click to add cat tools that you use. In the case that you would add more than one software tool, you can select rank. Um, oh, okay. So is this the only one you're using right now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we can just go with one. Okay. Next, getting close, almost there. Down here, we have a place where you can add social media and translator profiles with the click of a button at the top, you can connect your Facebook account and you can connect your pros.com account. Ah, oh, wonderful. Last one is a place where you can connect your blog. So on your personal site that you just gave me, do you have a blog there? Yes, I do, yes. Oh, great. Well, let's hook that up real quick, okay? So how do I connect this? How do I connect my blog to the profile page? Well, you need a blog feed, and usually that's in a format called XML. You can see an example here. Um, and if you've got a WordPress blog, is that what you're using? Are you using your yeah. own WordPress? Okay. That's usually um, it is set up at your URL.com slash feed. Okay. Is all you would need to do. So let's see if that works. Okay, great. So we can see now that we have all of this information. And look, there's a little check mark next to your blog down here. So that means it's, it should be connected. Oh, fabulous. Take a look. So this is what our profile did look like after we had just signed up. It's 
you know, yes. very empty and you know, not very pretty. It's really ah. nice. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah. Okay, great. So it's looking much, much better. And there's your blog. Yes. Okay, so we've been able to import the, the first few lines for a snippet there. And you've got an availability calendar over here that you can edit by simply clicking. And so, that's it. My profile is done. And is that what the client will see if they look at my profile page? Will it be the same as what I see? Good question. And, and yes, this is the public view. Um, but there are a few minor things that are different on the client view. For example, they don't see this edit profile uh, in the menu there. Um, they don't see this update articles button. That's only for you. And at the bottom of the page, there's a unique profile view uh, count there. And they aren't going to see that either. But everything okay. else on the page, they will see. So good question. Okay, um, great. So we can see that we've added all the information, but there's still some holes in our profile. Um, for example, this middle section here where it says translation units and term concepts, it's showing zero. And so this will begin to count once you've actually begun uploading prior work into your TM Town account. And I don't want to get into uploading work now. But maybe we could just check in um, with your profile after you've, you've added a few new things. So uh, how does that sound? Would you like to just... Yeah, it sounds great. Okay, thanks. Speak to you soon.